welcome to a tutorial on F Logic Pro. For this tutorial, I'm using Logic Pro version 10.6.2. And what I'm going to show you today is how you can record audio effects in real time. So what I have here is just something silly, some bass, and some vocals that I recorded previously. So what I'm going to do is I want to take one a couple of these vocal samples and run them through a tape delay. So let's grab those two samples. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. We will copy those. I'm going to create a new track. I'm going to make it an audio track. I'm going to make my input to no input. And I'm going to make my output to the bus. And I'm going to make it bus 4. Why 4? I don't know. I just like the number 4. So let's create that. We get this new audio 2 track. And then what I'm going to do, make sure it's selected. And then I'm going to paste in those two samples. All right. Let's uh, bring this out a bit. So I'm going to copy those two. Control C. And let's just make sure we're, yeah, I thought oh, I might not be against it. There we go. Now we'll zoom back out. I'm still pretty new to this software. If you're cringing along, feel free to give me helpful pointers. Oops. In the comments. Let's try copying that again. So edit. <sighs> Copy. And now I should be able to just paste that loop for the duration of this track I want to mess with. There's probably an easier way to do this. I'm not sure what it is yet. All right, so now we just have those two vocal samps over and over again. Pretty boring. Now we will create a new track again. And let's just call it audio. This time our input is going to be from bus 4. And we're going to output 1 plus 2. Select this track. And we're going to put an audio effect called tape delay on it. So let's select that. We get these fun, crazy menus, control screens. I'm just going to go with uh, the factory default for now. And what I want to do is play with these things as it's playing my audio loops. And then audio three should obtain my real time recording of how I mess with these controls. So let's try it out. What I want to do is select this one and then begin the record because that's where we're going to record to that region. Let's, let's, let's go for a ride. So we can see it recording. Let's, let's play with this. Go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride on the, the Rosemont loop. loop. Let's, Let's go, go for a ride on the, the Rosemont loop. loop. Let's, Let's go, go for a ride on the, the Rosemont loop. loop. Let's go, go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride on the Rosemont loop. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. Go for a ride. Rose Mom. Rose Mom. Let's go for a ride. Rose Mom. 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 R
Go for a ride. Go for a ride. Rosemont. Go for a ride. 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 All right, that should be enough annoying uh, garbage. So now what you'll see is that this track down here recorded our nonsense in real time. So if we mute everything else and play just that track, let's let's go for a ride on the rose mons blue blue. Let's go for a ride on the rose mons blue. You get the idea. So this is how you can use bus routing to record your audio effects in real time and get a recording of it. I hope you found this useful. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it, subscribe if you have not done so already, and let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you have a better way of doing this, please let me know. I'm pretty new to Final Cut, or sorry, Logic Pro. I've been using Final Cut a long time. Logic Pro is new to me. Um, and I'm very eager to learn. I want to make my own music and I'm just getting started. So I thought I would share this little tip with you that I discovered. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.